Ah, thanks for coming, see you. Yeah, we really appreciate it, dear. Dad, Mom, I just can't bring myself to accept this. Sis just had twins, right? Sons? And you're telling me she tried to leave them behind? I don't know, we're not her. What are you trying to say? Is there any chance that someone else is responsible? No, not possible. The police have checked time and time again. I see. Anyway, we have a present for you. A present? Ta-da! Look at this! Their names are Alan and Andrew, aren't they cute? What? Aren't they Sis's kids? Yeah. Wait, you two didn't... Trouble Busters! <laughs> we did it, we really did it! I can't believe they would die. Now we can just ignore their story. There really is a god. You and I both know that there is no god. Yeah, that's true. If there is a god, I guess we're it. What are you saying, sweetie? But what do we do about these? Oh, just throw them in the trash or something. But I've seen the news of them being found like that. <coughs> Ugh, shut up. Just put some tape in their mouths or something. It's a great idea. Just shut up for a second. <coughs> Perfect. Now we just prepare for the funeral. Yeah, we have to or people will be suspicious. A funeral, huh? Ah, I've got an idea. A good idea. Oh. <laughs> that is a great idea. I really am a genius. Am I actually a god? <laughs> Just kidding. Maybe you are. You are a god. Uh, this is so lame. My name is Theo. Just a regular temp staff you can find anywhere. The one thing I have going for me is that I am very studious. That's literally the only thing. What are you talking about being studious? You better stop yawning like that while you work. What? What's going on, boss? You look bright red like an octopus or something. You done being human? <laughs> you little... This is all your fault. What is? This company is so horrible. I'm tired from working late every night. Uh, I wish OSHA would pay us a visit. I don't think there's a single company that takes care of its employees as much as us. Theo leaves every day on time. He actually leaves a little early to get ready to punch out. But Helen, shut up. You're gonna ruin my reputation. You have no reputation. Ah, uh, I guess the only way is up then, huh? <laughs> you little... You need to figure out what's going on with your story. Not gonna happen. Maybe he finds a wife and kids. Uh, I'm not interested in marriage. I'm worried about your future. Yes? Hello? Huh? Theo? Yeah, he's here. One second. Dude, come on. It's just the debt collectors, right? You can tell them I'm not here. No, it's from your parents. From my parents? Why? My parents? I only had a bad feeling about this. I've always hated my parents because they didn't care who they hurt as long as it benefited them. I ran out of the house when I was 15 and haven't turned back. And now they're reaching out to me? Hello? Oh, hey, Theo. It's been a minute. Dead. Dead? What, the goldfish? No, that thing died a long time ago. Uh, okay. So, who died? Megan and her husband. What? I said Megan and her husband. They're dead. We're going to have a funeral, so you need to come home. What? You're joking. Why would we jokingly call your office? Why? I don't know. Apparently they jumped. Maybe they had something that was troubling them. I don't know. But just get your ass home. But, uh, hey, what's going on, Theo? Why are you so pale? Did your parents want to pay them back? Sis and her husband died. What? You mean the sister that basically raised you in place of your mom? Uh, you should go home, Theo. Uh, Helen, I'm going to pay for the taxi. You two go home together. Sir. I was drawing blanks in my head. Sis was five years older than me. We weren't actually blood related. My sister and I are my father's brother's son. When I was young, my real parents passed in a car accident. That's why they're not interested in me. I don't understand why they took me in. Sis was basically my mother. But something is weird. Suicide? The day of the funeral. Ah, there you are, Theo. Thanks for coming. I know you're busy. Dad, Mom, I don't understand. What is it? You haven't even settled in. I can't believe that Sis and her husband would kill themselves. She just gave birth to twins, right? I don't think she would leave them. I just don't see her as being that kind of irresponsible person. I don't know. I'm not her. No idea. What are you trying to say? Is there no chance of foul play? Ah, that's what you mean. No, 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 no. Police already checked it out. They've checked time and time again. It's suicide, for sure. You always thought that she was this amazing person. She was actually pretty weak, you know. She would often call me saying she wanted to kill herself. No way. When I called her, she was happy that she had healthy babies. She was probably just acting tough in front of you. But what he's saying did make some sense. 
My sis wasn't exactly in a situation where she could rely on someone else, but I really couldn't believe she would kill herself and leave her kids. Oh, anyway, we have a present for you. A present? Ta-da! They're yours. Those are sis's sons? Yeah, their names are Alan and Andrew. Aren't they so cute? W what do you mean? Means you need to raise them. Huh? You don't want to? Then I guess they're getting sent to a foster home. Oh, wait, wait, hang on. We're too busy. You need to figure it out before the funeral is over and they're being sent into the foster system. You know that we're not interested in raising kids, right? We haven't even raised our own kids. You've watched us leaving you two growing up, right? We're still lonely occupied with ourselves. I'm not going to take care of the chores just like old times. Megan was the one that took care of you, right? This is a chance for you to repay your debt to her. Think about it. M me? A father? But I'm so... me. I don't know if I can do it. But I have to. Alan and Andrew are... Fine. I'll take them in. <laughs> Perfect. This is great. No more trash on our hands. Did you say trash? I mean, yeah, kids are just trash. They don't produce anything. Yeah, they're garbage. They just leech your money away. You little... Take it back. Why are you so angry? Ah, oh, the funeral is starting. We gotta go. Ah, uh, this sucks. I'm so excited for the booze that we can drink after this. They're seriously the worst. I hope they go straight to hell after they die. I'm not going to let them take Sissa's kids. I'm going to raise these kids to be great. I'm so worried, but that's how my new life as a dad started. Good morning. Ah, so sorry for taking off for such a long time. Ah, don't worry about it. Wait, what? Hmm? What's the ruckus, boss? Ah! Who are they? Alan and Andrew. No, that's not what I mean. You aren't married, and you don't have kids. Oh, I'm going to be taking in my sister's kids. But I don't have any relatives that would look after them while I'm working, and I can't really find any kindergartens. Actually, they're all full anyway, so... Yeah, sorry. Is it alright if they come into work with me for a while? Er, you're a father? No way! Oh my gosh, I don't know how this is going to go! It'll be fine. I'll figure it out. My life has worked out fine. You idiot. You can have a random life, but you can't have them living life like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no way we can just leave you taking care of them. You guys are so mean. We're going to raise them together, as a company. What? You're a temp, right? Congrats. You're officially a full-time employee, but you better work your ass off. Seriously? All right, I gotta go buy some milk. Great job, Helen. That's how Alan and Andrew were going to be raised by everyone at the company. Honestly, I was so worried about moving forward as a temp, and I had no idea how to be a father. So this really helped me out. I'm so glad everyone was so supportive. Ah, hello. I'm Dad. I'm Mom. You guys, stop trying to be their guardians. I can't let my guard down, though. That's how we all worked together raising them. Meanwhile, I was looking up something. How my sister died. I couldn't believe that they would take their own lives. This is where they kill themselves. Hey! Hmm? If you want to live, you won't turn around. You're the one sniffing around about the suicide? Who are you? You're better off not knowing if you value your life at all. You're raising two kids, right? You really want them to lose their parents twice? You're the one that offed my sister and her husband? Shut the hell up! Ugh. Damn. Crap, sorry. Lost my temper. You can make it up, right? I'm gonna drop you for real next time. Huh? What is this? I knew it. They didn't just kill themselves. They were killed. That's my conclusion. But if I keep going, I'm going to be in danger. As sad and upsetting as it may be, I may need to give up. I need to raise Alan and Andrew. I can't have them be put in any danger. I'm sorry, sis. Damn it. If only I was stronger. I decided to stop my pursuit of the criminal and focused on racing Alan and Andrew. I paid back all of my loans and 20 years passed, Alan and Andrew are now grown adults. You guys are all grown up now. I'm so happy. Now, uh, give me money? You just talk about money the second you open your mouth. I mean, I haven't gambled for like 20 years, man. You have no idea what kind of withdrawals I've been going through. Look at these. What? They're literally just marks from your shots. They're still not gone? I can't believe you'd be a government employee, Alan. My own son working for the government. Oh yeah, you wanted to be in the government too, right, Andrew? Did you give up? Yeah, it's fine. I see. I have a problem recently. It's about Andrew. He's around the wrong people recently. 
<sighs> I'm so worried about Andrew recently. He's an adult now, though. I can't be butting into his business. That again? Andrew is fine. Yeah, Theo, Andrew is our kid. If it was just you, I'd be worried, but everyone raised them. Right. I want to think that everything's fine, but I'm so worried. Maybe it's because I live with them? I'm kind of a piece of crap. Dude, we're just teasing you. Huh? Yeah, you were pretty terrible before, but you completely changed after you decided you were raising them. You stopped gambling and even working hard. You were even promoted to section chief. Yeah, but still, I'm sure things would have been different if it was their real dad and mom raising them. Hey sis, am I doing right? Am I really making them happy? One day, there was a funeral for a distant relative and I was attending. I think I haven't seen dad and mom since sis's funeral. I'm gonna head out. Yeah, see ya! Be careful. Yeah. When I made it to the funeral, I saw two familiar faces. They were old, but it was dad and mom. Mm. See you? Is that see you? Uh, long time no see. You've gotten older. <laughs> that makes it two of us. You didn't bring Alan and Andrew? I didn't want you two to see them. What are you being so salty for? Where's grandparents? Yeah, you dumped them onto me. I don't believe what I'm hearing. Dad and mom haven't changed since 20 years ago. After the funeral, dad and mom started drinking away and started getting drunk. This hasn't changed either. Theo, I heard from Tom. What? What did you hear? And who's Tom? That you went to the cliff where they killed themselves. You were looking into the suicides, right? Why do you know about that? Hey, you need to calm down, dear. I think that's going too far. I mean, we can just have Tom scare him again. True. What are you talking about? Are you guys saying that you... Yeah, that's right. I mean, Tom was the one that shoved her off, but... You pieces of shit! Why would you? Why? Uh, I don't really remember. Oh, it was because we also killed your parents, my brother. They had a lot of money, you know. We wanted their inheritance, so we had them get involved in a traffic accident. And then we took you in. And then I got drunk and told Megan everything, so I needed to make her disappear. You killed my parents too? You little shitheads! Oh, come on, calm down. We didn't do anything to them directly. Alan and Andrew are, what, 20? They're going to have a great life, and you might just ruin it for them. Tom isn't a gang, you know. A gang? Yeah, we hired him. Thanks to us hiring him, he actually was promoted quite a bit in the gang, it seems. The gang is in debt to us. You're going to threaten me like that again? Threaten you? <laughs> yeah, no. We're just selling you for your lovely children. You should understand what I'm saying. They're not only responsible for my sister's death, but my parents' death. I want to do them in here, but if I do that, Alan and Andrew... Damn it! I can't do anything! I just need to suck it up. <laughs> loser, loser, loser. You must want to beat us, huh? But if we do that, your lovely sons will be chasing after their mom. Damn it. Damn it! What are you doing, Theo? You need to beat the shit out of them. Huh? Alan? Andrew? What? hey -ya! Ugh! What are you guys doing? You think you're going to get away with this? Yeah, we know gang members. You mean this guy? Huh? T Tom? Why? Sorry, I actually squashed the queek he was working with. Uh, squashed? Yeah, to get revenge from Mom. Why would you do that? Why? Because this is who we work for. Yep, I questioned Tom and he told me all about you two. But police Huh? Andrew too. I'm what you call a mole. I was undercover. I worked undercover in the gang that Tom was with. Sorry for worrying you, Theo. I couldn't tell my family either. I I see. You two. You know why we became cops? N no. Why the hell would we? It's to figure out and find the truth behind Mom's death and get revenge. That's why I wanted to become an undercover cop too. That would be our thank you for Theo for taking care of us. You two. We know. We know you cried yourself to sleep every night calling for mom. We knew that we had to grow up and find out who did this to you. Right, Andrew? That's right. Wait, why are you acting all shy? Shut up. We're working. Yeah, yeah, whatever. He's so weird sometimes. We're in trouble. We don't have him in our corner anymore. We're- Damn it. We need to just go quietly and hire a good lawyer. I'm sure we can avoid the death penalty. We give up. Arrest us. That's all you need, right? Arrest? What are you talking about? Yeah, we're not gonna do that. What? Are you going to let us go? Nope. You're going to be executed right here. What? Yeah, we won't take the time or effort of going through the legal process. A gun? Any last words? W wait hang on! Those are your last words. W wait hang on. Alan, Andrew, don't do that. You have a bright future. Bye later. Adios! Ah! You really did it. 
Oh, come on, Theo. How? No. Oh. An airsoft gun? Yeah, we got this at a fair when we were kids. <laughs> we're not going to be going to jail with you. <laughs> Gross. They passed out and shit themselves. Afterwards, they were arrested for the murder of my sister and our parents. The crime was considered extremely malicious, and so they were sentenced to death. The gang members who killed my sister would follow foot. That took so long. Such a long time, but you got revenge. You can rest easy now. Right, sis? Nah, not yet. Yeah, not with a creepy brother like you around. Hey, when the hell did you guys get here? Also, I literally raised you two, so show a little respect. You know, we do respect you. Seriously, thank you for raising us. We really appreciate you and everyone at work. Shut up. Well, Mom, you can rest easy because we can look after Theo. Uh, I'm the one that's going to be looking after you two. Yeah, yeah. All right, go buy some steak. Somewhere really nice. Why do I have to buy you two meals? I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> I'm joking. We'll buy tonight. Yeah, we know you're too broke to go out anywhere nice. You little... Come on, let's go. You gonna sit there and whine? Hang on, damn it. They have outgrown me and any worries I had about them. Hey sis, your sons, they're incredible. I'm so excited for them to grow up into even more amazing adults. I'm excited for the future. Troublebuster.